How's it going, guys? I'm S. Socially Awkward Gamer. You probably forgot it existed. Otherwise, I'm Patty Jack. We're gonna play some Hearthstone today. I was originally gonna do Sky Z, but Skyrim is not loading, as it sometimes does with the plethora of mods I have. So we're gonna do Hearthstone, and I'm just gonna talk to y'all while we're doing it about the channel, and we're just gonna have some fun with gimmick decks, cause that's what I want to do today. And I got three more classes to go to today. I'm kind of in the middle of my long day right now, but I managed to get out of my first class early because I'm a boss and I get my work done. So, yeah, that's a thing. So, there was a big Hearthstone patch yesterday. They increased the cost of the Starving Buzzard up from 1 or 2 to 5. So, the Starving Buzzard costs 5 now, but they increased its attacks and defense, so it's now a 3-2 creature. Uh, so that pretty much screws up all the war all the the hunter combos. That's the one I'm, look I'm looking for right now Yes, yeah, so all the hunter combos are screwed up and they also increase Leroy Jenkins cost up to five It's up from four now didn't increase the stats on that one. So it's really screwed over the rogue decks as well So apparently there's a bunch of priests and warriors right now because druid apparently according to my buddy Alec um, druids got kind of screwed in that patch as well because they were able to combat other decks, those two decks, a lot better before it for some reason. I don't know. We're going to do a rogue though, but this is a different rogue. It's a very different rogue and it's kind of hilarious. Basically this deck is in is like every card I have that summons another creature, so you just flood the board as you play. And by turn 7 or turn 9 or something, then they usually use removal on all your creatures, and then you can like play a Nixie or something and get your entire board back. Or if you can get like Keltazad out there, then you're unstoppable. It's insane. Sometimes it works, sometimes it fails horribly, as gimmick decks seem to do. Um, I'm gonna keep the Fan of Knives, as weird as that sounds. Someone's messaging me on Steam, but I'm going to ignore them. Oh, speaking of Steam. I have a new Steam group. That's it's the link to it's in the description below this video and all the the other videos that I'm gonna be uploading. So you can go there anytime you want. Basically, we're gonna coin Defias right now. Basically, I made that because of the new curator system. So I can like recommend all these awesome games that I have, and you can see like a big definite list of every game you should be trying to buy. And I'm like totally okay with that. Okay. Oh god, this is horrible. Maybe should have tried the knife juggler for that one. Okay, I can't play the knife juggler now, so we're just gonna smack down his void walker. Okay, that worked out pretty well for him. Next turn, we could fan a knives. So that'll get rid of his abusive sergeant. Kind of our only option. We can't play the knife juggler. Okay, that's not an option anymore. Crap. I hate warlocks. God damn it. Yeah, so you can go click the link and then you'll find this is a pretty good answer though. Link down below, go down to the Steam group. You can join my Steam group and you can I set up like little forums there, you can ask me questions and all that, so that's cool and stuff. Let's see, you can also, go check out the new series I started called Hope or Nope, if you haven't already. Ooh, that's a golden... I like the fire on top of his head. It's a very subtle animation for that golden card. I like it. Alright. Hmm. This is a really... Okay. This deck... <laughs> this game is not working out the way I wanted it to. Hopefully we can kind of just wear him down care of that thing. Yeah, so the new series called Hope or Nope where I discuss upcoming games and whether I think they're going to be good or not. That series is doing really well so far. I've done two episodes. The first one was on Dragon Age Inquisition. It's sitting at about 600 views, which is really good for me. And then the one I made yesterday on Shadow of Mordor is already at like over a thousand views, which is insanely good for my channel. Okay, Sludge Belcher, best possible card I could ever have right now. I'm just gonna trade everything out so he cannot screw around with me anymore. 
We're getting super cereal now. So I'm really happy about that game. Or that series, rather. I'm gonna keep going because it's actually getting more views than Sky Z right now, which is crazy. I haven't had that happen in a long time. Alright, um... Yeah, I think the option here is another Sludge Belcher. <laughs> we just... I, I... Even if he hits it with the Myaxna, it's not a huge deal. Because we still get more taunts out of that, which trade with both of those. Then we can play Hogger afterwards. Pretty much a taunt wall would be great right now. Um, you don't have any death rattle. Okay, now you have a death rattle out there. Um, that's not so bad. What well, kind of is he gonna trade those in now? Okay, so what I can do is I can take out that thing. It'll use the death rattle there and then fan and knives. It's a pretty efficient way of doing it. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, fan of knives. And then... I'll play a Harvest Golem, a Defias. Probably not Defias, because he can run Baron into it. Well, he kind of can't because of the Sludge Belcher, but... I think we'll just play the Harvest Golem. Yeah. Sounds like a decent idea. This is a very interesting deck. It's... <laughs> I wouldn't say I have a real strategy. It's mostly just play everything and hope they can't use a crap ton of removal. But he's kind of wasting out his cards now, which is nice. The good thing about this deck, too, is if I have a low amount of cards in my hand, I can still usually get a decent board up, because my cards will, like, make other cards as soon as they get played. So it's tough to deal with. Alright. Okay, a little risky, but we're gonna go. We're gonna do it this way. Do that. We'll play Defias. Okay, there goes the Myaxna. Now we're gonna play. I can actually just shadow step the Defias again. Is that a better option? Maybe. Yeah, it kind of is, because I'd rather have that Murloc... Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to do it this way. You may agree with this or not. Don't really care. Okay, still can't... Okay, I can actually kill his Ribbon Dare now. Which is nice. Because I don't want him getting too... Uh, Nerubians out of that. That would be awful. This is where the deck kind of starts to get going. Okay, a Blood Imp. Not really the best thing for him to play, because he's going to buff his Nerubian. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I think in the newest update, they... What? Oh, oh god, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Okay, I got two, four, six, eight, one. Shit. If he draws any removal from this point on, I'm dead. So I think we play Hogger so we can get a taunt. Okay, there goes the knife cover. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I got six, so I can get my taunt out of that still. Okay, this game is getting really weird. Any removal, if he gets a hellfire, if he does anything, I'm gonna die. And that is not what I wanted to happen. Why would you, is that removal? Why would you put it on the... What? You, what? What? My you could have... Ah, oh, you're an asshole. 
Oh my god. Well, that was interesting. For shizzles. Like, he... He life-tapped into... Into that. Into a defender of... Ugh. Ugh, that's just... That's gross. That's a gross play. I feel dirty. I feel... I feel really, really cheated out of that. <laughs> Anyways. That's a game of Hearthstone. That's some updates on my channel. Go watch Hope or Nope. It's been really successful so far. And I'm really excited about the series. More Sky Z coming when I get Skyrim fixed again. Because it's the most inconsistent game I've ever played. I am Patty Jack. I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. I would be super appreciative. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because then you can see all the other awesome content I make. And, uh, did you know I have a shirt store? Because I kind of do. It's, uh, it's down in the description there. So you can just, like, go down there and click the link on every video I put up. And you can go buy, like, t-shirts and iPhone cases. And maybe, like, a pillowcase so you can rest your head on my divine essence every night. So, yeah, go down there and, uh, just go buy it, please. Because, well... Because haircuts like this are not cheap, alright? Let's go do it. Ugh. Idiots.